has so much to offer us, both now and for future generations. They are a creature that symbolises everything that's wilderness and everything that's wild. I've been living as part of their pack now for several years. I've been able to share some of their most intimate secrets, their communication, their behaviour, their loyalty to family. It's a world for me where every day begins and ends in a miracle. And the question that I'm always asked is, what did the wolves see you as? Did they see you as human or did they see you as a wolf? And the answer to that is they see you as neither. They see you as a position within their family group. And because you hold that position, you have to live by old fashioned values that we've long since forgotten. Values such as trust, respect, and above all else, need. But a lot of people don't realize that feeding this close to the walls, then feeding along each other, they have to have that cooperation. They have to build in trust and balance to one another long before the kill is even brought down to be able to be safe. And you can see, while they're very close to one another, very close to Natar here, everybody's very respectful of the other one. And that's that respect that makes the wolf pack full of strength, full of wisdom. It's an amazing place to be because you're centimeters away from a, a set of jaws that's twice as powerful as a normal German Shepherd dog. The wolf lives by those old fashioned values, which are that it takes an entire community or environment to raise those young, not just one and two people. So the first thing that the wolf would condemn us for would be our lack of society, our lack of respect in one another. My belief has always been that if you want to speak for a wolf, then you need to live as a wolf. And this is about as close to living as you will ever get. Being there with them, feeding alongside them, sleeping with them, sharing the same air and the enclosures that they breathe. That's all for me, gaining those intimate secrets that I think we badly need to be able to help. The wolf symbolizes what we used to be like in the past, full of wisdom, unlike force or other than force. For them, the only thing that really matters is family. It's amazing to think that a few seconds ago, you're head to head with this guy over a piece of food, snarling, growling, snapping of jaws. People would describe it as being inches away from death. And here he is, a few seconds later, reinforcing that bond of family. The importance for him is that there's no grudges harbored, that nothing is taken over for the next day. And now we're back to being a pack together again, and that's the only thing to him that really matters. <laughs>